is adding ice to moth orchids a good way to water them? Now, there are loads of people on the internet who will make that claim, and it's based on a sound observation that the fastest way to kill a moth orchid is by overwatering it. So adding three ice cubes to the surface of the roots once a week is considered a really good way to dose out that watering and have it be very slow release, so drip by drip as the ice melts. However, this is extremely controversial advice. Don't cancel me. <laughs> There are so many orchid buffs out there who will point out that these are tropical species. They never experience ice in the wild, and they have absolutely zero adaptations to survive sub-zero temperatures. They would argue that the ice cube advice will kill your plants, and as orchids can be quite expensive, this is not just a passion thing, this can really, really affect your pocket. Surprisingly, there's only actually one scientific trial to really test it out. So Ohio State University and the University of Georgia tested out two batches of orchids, crucially with a control. So they watered a whole bunch of orchids using the ice cube technique, and they compared them to another group that used a measured identical amount of water. Really good trial because they used a decent number of orchids from different varieties in two different locations. And what they found is that ice really didn't harm the plants in any way. I was actually surprised as a botanist to see that. It didn't affect flowering time, it didn't affect leaf growth, it didn't affect the growth of the roots. Really, every parameter they measured, the ice made absolutely zero negative impact. So it really suggests that watering with ice cubes is absolutely fine. However, big disclaimer, this was a very short trial that only ran for a few months, so we don't know about the long-term impact, particularly on reflowering. We also only have this one trial, so we don't know whether its results are replicated. And most importantly, while it didn't demonstrate any negative impact on the plant's health, it actually didn't demonstrate any positive <laughs> impact either. So it kind of suggests that we've been fussing about something for no reason for well over a decade. So put the pitchforks down.